In collaboration with Brain Mind, let's review what to eat for optimal brain health and Alzheimer's prevention. When it comes to diet and nutrition, a brain healthy diet is something that we all need to learn about. However, there's been an explosion of evidence in terms of how what we eat can impact our brain health for years to come. Let's first start off by talking about different dietary patterns and then talk about single and multiple nutrients. The number one most evidence-based way to eat for a healthy brain is the Mediterranean style diet. However, there are multiple different dietary patterns that we should explore time permitting. When it comes to single or multiple nutrients, there are a variety of brain healthy components in the foods you eat. Let's talk about the three main macronutrients, carbohydrates, fats, and protein. When it comes to these three components, there are good carbs and bad carbs, brain healthy fats and brain unhealthy fats, and high quality proteins and less high quality proteins. Let's go through these in a little bit deeper detail. When it comes to carbohydrates, the number one thing to remember is green leafy vegetables are by far the most evidence-based brain healthy carbs that a person can eat. Eating plentiful green leafy vegetables has been shown to actually stimulate brain function and delay cognitive decline. When it comes to eating green leafy vegetables, the darker the greens, the better for brain health. Other types of good carbs include fruits like berries. The Nurses Health Study published a few years ago showed that people that eat at least a half a cup of blueberries or strawberries two to three times a week over their lifespan can delay cognitive decline by over two and a half years just by that one change. So eating blueberries, strawberries, other berries, and fruits may have a beneficial effect over time. When it comes to desserts and the bad carbs, we think about things like processed foods, cakes and cookies, and sugar, sugar, and more sugar. If you wanna press the fast forward button on brain aging and accelerate cognitive decline, eat lots of sugar. That's not so great. Some people think that eating 50 grams of added sugar per day is about the maximum. While the jury's out a little bit when it comes to brain health, I honestly believe less is more. A few grams here and there, 10, 20, even 30. As long as you're active, I think most people can be able to metabolize that sugar. However, the rule of thumb here is less added sugar is more. Instead of having these processed foods and cakes and cookies for desserts, try to replace that with a brain healthier carbohydrate. For example, whole fruits. Whole fruits have nutrients. They also have fiber. Fiber in the fruits slows down digestion. When you slow down digestion, you minimize spikes of insulin. Insulin is the hormone that gets secreted by the pancreas to break down sugars. It's those insulin spikes that happen over and over again that cause inflammation. Inflammation and insulin resistance accelerates amyloid production and amyloid deposition. So when it comes to good carbs and bad carbs, keep these things in mind. Next, let's talk about brain healthy versus brain unhealthy fats. There are a lot of brain healthy fats and specifically the most brain healthy fat that I can think of is omega-3 fatty acids. There are different types of fats. There's polyunsaturated fats like omega-3 fatty acids, plentifully found in wild salmon, lake trout, mackerel, herring, albacore tuna, and sardines. They also have a variety of effects, not just on the brain, but can also help cholesterol management. In addition, brain healthy fats can be found in nuts in moderation. A handful of nuts, great for the brain. Multiple bags of nuts, maybe not so much. So each person needs to truly individualize the diet that they have. And the balance between omega-3 fatty acids, for example, found in fatty fish, and omega-6 fatty acids, which are healthy for the heart, but need to be balanced in terms of a ratio of six to three is something that we need to keep in mind. The other types of absolutely brain healthy fats are something called monounsaturated fats. If you want to talk about miracle growth for the brain, think about olive oil, especially extra virgin olive oil. Now you can see here that we have extra virgin olive oil from California. Why? Believe it or not, when they've done studies and they've looked at all the different types of olive oil on the market, up to 60% of olive oil on the market is adulterated. It's either fake or it's diluted with other chemicals. So the take home point here is find the right monounsaturated fat, the right extra virgin olive oil. In my preference, in my clinical practice is I recommend getting that olive oil from California 
because maybe it could be more reputable. That being said, it's important to your homework. Otherwise, when it comes to proteins, again, it's all about high quality versus low quality. The highest quality protein in terms of meats that a person can get are grass-fed meats. Why? Grass-fed meat is not only raised usually better, but also when the cows, for example, eat the grass, there's more omega-3 fatty acids in the food that you're then going to be eating through the meats. So the take-home point here is brain health can be stimulated by grass-fed meats. Finally, we have other types of foods that you see in front of us, and that is dark cocoa powder. One of the most brain healthy types of foods on the planet is dark cocoa flavanols. Believe it or not, there are studies that have shown that just having one to two servings of dark cocoa flavanols per day for several months can not only improve memory function, but it can also have a beneficial effect on reducing insulin resistance while also modulating blood pressure control and putting blood pressure in a better range. The take home point here though is that Different types of cocoa powder and different types of cocoa may have different cocoa flavanol content. Eating a bar of dark chocolate may seem brain healthy, and I'm not going to say it's brain unhealthy, but you need to look at the label. Across all the dietary choices you make, look at the label. If you see sugar and butter and sugar and more butter in that label before the dark cocoa flavanols, you may want to choose a different brand. One of the brands that has been studied rigorously, and there's ongoing studies now, is a brand called Cocovia. And for full disclosure, I have nothing to disclose, no commercial biases to any nutrition or supplement or any other food companies. But Cocovia is the specific dark cocoa flavanol product that has been studied in multiple randomized controlled trials. And that's what I recommend to my patients. So to conclude, we don't have the perfect brain healthy diet for everybody because each person may need a specific brain healthy diet tailored for them. And this is based on the concept of precision nutrition. If someone can learn their numbers, learn their cholesterol, learn what types of brain healthy fats are actually in their bloodstream, if someone can follow these things over time, make a dietary change, and then recheck these markers, that's one way to help personalize or give a precise plan to give a brain healthy option for them. Uh, finally, it's important to understand that when you are eating out, you almost never know what people are putting in your food. Um, as one example, we have sauces. So sauces can contain olive oil or sauces contain, could contain other terribly, horribly processed oils that are just brain unhealthy fats that fast forward cellular aging. That's something you don't want. So I'm not saying don't eat out. Um, I can't cook. Eat out when you can, but ask what's in the sauces. Ask what type of olive oil. Ask if the fish that you're being served, is it wild or is it farm-raised? Wild salmon, for example, is much higher in the brain-healthy fats. So to conclude, we don't have a perfect brain-healthy diet for everyone right now, but incremental dietary changes can certainly yield most benefits. By far, the Mediterranean-style diet has the most evidence. However, there's additional diets that are being studied as we speak. For example, the ketogenic diet. The ketogenic diet is something that really deserves attention in specific people. The ketogenic diet includes reducing carbohydrate intake to less than 35 to 50 grams or so per day. Now, this is a decision that needs to be made in collaboration with a treating physician because most people would suggest to get a baseline of labs before and after implementing the diet. But significant carbohydrate restriction like that may have an absolutely beneficial brain healthy effect. However, like we said before, the individual brain healthy diet for one person may differ for another. So it's important to mind your numbers over time because different people with different genes may respond differently. Ketogenic diet is oftentimes pretty high in saturated fats. Saturated fats in a certain degree is not necessarily brain healthy if it's to a certain degree. Further, one must be very careful about eating trans fats. Trans fats found in shortening and fried and fatty foods are among the most brain unhealthy substances that we know to date. So to conclude, you are what you eat when it comes to brain health.